Good afternoon and welcome to the next episode of the Rise with Red Bull Leipzig. Now today we've got a few things to run you through. We have two new additions to the squad. We will run you through the games we have played and a little run that is starting to brew amongst the club and in our fixtures. We will also today talk about the player stats and how the team is getting on in general this season just after we've passed the halfway mark in the campaign and we're also going to play Bayer Leverkusen today in the live com. So as you know, here is the first addition to the club. We did sell Willie Orban, so we needed to bring in another defender. Mainly as cover, but potential to step in if needed. So we bought in Benjamin Kaufman from Admira Vakar, who played in Austria, for £675,000. Now he's 20 years old, he's 11 caps for the under-21 squad, and is valued £550,000 per week. Three and a half star potential, two and a half star current ability, six pros, two cons and potential to be a key player for the team. He plays at central defence, can play right back, left back or in defensive midfield. He's got a few decent attributes in each area of his game to be honest. The worst would probably be the physical area but he does have strength of 13 and 14 for acceleration. Mentally he's really good, 15 anticipation, decision making is 16, determination 12, positioning 15, teamwork 13. As well as technically he's got 15 for heading, Passing is 13, marking is 14 and tackling is 15. So he's a pretty decent player that we got for a decent bargain price at under £700,000. Not bad considering he is five years younger than Willie Orban who we sold for £2.1 million to Besiktas. The next player and final player of the window we brought in was a deadline day loan signing from PSG, it's Adrian Rabio. He plays in centre midfield, I'm sure a lot of you will be well aware of him. He has the potential and stats at the start of the game to go on to become world class. Someone I'd maybe look to replace Asia should he ever leave, which is most probably going to happen in the next six months or so in this save. He has played two games for us, one start and one substitute appearance. He is going to be on the bench, but should he be needed, he will be more than capable to step in. So we'll have a look at some standout players so far this season. Now in terms of goals, Zach Clough has got 12 and 14 starts, 8 substitute appearances. After him it's Sabitzer with 6, after him it's Selka with 5, Poulsen with 5, Yunez with 4, Adelaide with 3 and 4 players chipping in with 1 goal each, which is Raimondi, Esperiqueta, Ta and Kaiser. Assist wise it's quite surprising that Sabitzer isn't quite clearly at the top. He has got 8 but ahead of him is Amon Nunes with 9. Behind them is Clough with 5. As you know he plays in that false 9 position. Young with 4. I'd like to see him get a little bit more from that left back position. And with 2 it's Selka, Ta, Bush and Bruno. With 1 each it's Bolson, Adelaide, Esperiqueta. I think he should get more as should Dominic Kaiser who's also only got 1 this season as has Klosterman. Leading the way with key passes in, in almost four per game is Dominic Kaiser with 91. Behind him is Clough with 85, Sabitzer with 75, Yusef Poulsen with 55, 51 is Esperiqueta and the rest of the team are below 40. As far as average rating goes, it doesn't surprise me that Sabitzer, the best player in my team, is the highest with 7.52 behind him, Kaiser. 7.36 behind him with 7.34 and 7.33 is Clough and Selka. Asia has 7.28 and a lot of other players have above 7. In total there are 13 players above 7 average so far, just over the halfway point of the season. Now we've been getting a lot of interest in Christopher Asia who did actually force upon a transfer request on me. And in the last window, you know that Arsenal bid just short of £21 million for him and I did reject it. Now I'm wishing I took it because even when I offer this guy out, I'm only getting mediocre £6-7 million bids, even from Barcelona and Bayern Munich. If I can get £20 million again in that region, I will take it. He's a player that doesn't seem to want to be around here, although he still does put in good performances in terms of his average rating, but I think he wants to go on to bigger and better things. So as I say, I'm not going to accept less than around 16, 17 million, but if we can get to the 20 mark again like that Arsenal bid that I almost nearly accepted, I will move him on and look to replace him. So the last match in the live com was a 1-1 draw against Stuttgart, and we have four matches to update you on before today's match. We then went away to Mans and we drew 
Nil-nil, and I tell you, this was a lucky nil-nil. Disappointing lead to get Klosterman and sent off late on for a silly two bookings in the last 11 minutes. But this is a game that Mans will feel very harsh and very hard done by not to come out with three points. We got away with it, got very lucky, and it's a point I'll gladly take away from home and a clean sheet. But again, Mans should have won this quite easily with the amount of chances they had. The next match I chose not to live com simply because it was quite close to the last live com and I'm trying to space them out quite well. This was quite reminiscent of the Manchester United Newcastle game at St James's Park the other night. Of course I'm a Newcastle fan, it was very, very exciting. So it was 3-3 full time against Bayern Munich and we matched them toe for toe. They went 1-0 up through Jerome Boateng who scored against us in the first game against Bayern this season. Zach Clough almost immediately pegged them back and straight after half time Clough scored to put us 2-1 up and before I could even think about it Lewandowski had equalised. Amin Yunus then put us 3-2 up and I thought come on this is a massive chance and then again Bobby Lewandowski scored in the 67th minute and I was fearing the worst, I was fearing that we would concede again but we never we held out, we matched the Giants, we went face to face with them and come out with a 3-3 draw and a delightful result. Shows how far we have come in three seasons considering we lost in the first season in the playoff final against Hertha Berlin to get promoted and that was damaging and disappointing to the club but this is how far we've come in three seasons. What a result against the Bavarian beast that is Bayern Munich. So after that Bayern match it was DFB Pokal time, the German Cup quarter final, a packed house, 36,000 people at the Red Bull Arena and what a game and what a performance the boys put in against Augsburg. What a shift they put in. Again, only 45% possession, but we do play a counter game and we're expected to let the other team retain possession most of the game. But we got out the blocks and got a massive victory. I'm in Unes after 8 minutes. Selka after 16. 3-0 up at half time. Selka again. Then Selka popped up with his hat trick on the 51st minute to put us 4-0 up. Zach Clough got on on the action on the 59th minute to go 5-1. Raul Bobadilla did pull one back in the 77th minute. And as you can see, Andre Martins did get injured for Augsburg. Of course, we did sell him to them. But a delightful performance. The scene, our worst rating of this match was actually our goalkeeper, Bartomlej Dragowski, who never actually got much involved in the game. Younes got a 9.4, having gotten two assists and one goal. And Selka got a 9.6 with one assist and a hat-trick. What a match. And this sees us go through to the semi-final of the German Cup. Now all along while I was 5-0 up, I knew who was in the other draws. I knew that Bayern Munich was still in the competition and I knew there was a chance. If I did get through today and I do get through the semi-final, I will manage to hopefully get to the final and they would be my opponent as expected. But look at this guys, remarkable. Second Bundesliga side, Duisburg at home put Bayern Munich to the sword and out on penalties after a nil-nil draw. Incredible. Stuttgart and Manns also went through Manns on extra time. Darmstadt, Dusseldorf and Bayern Munich, along with Augsburg, the team to exit at the quarterfinal stage. So the draw was made and we have a huge, huge chance to get to our first cup final. Remember, this is the only domestic cup that is in Germany other than the league, so you expect... Leverkusen, Dortmund, Bayern Munich to really push for that Bundesliga title. So this is their only chance to get really silverware this early on into the series. The third season approaching the end. We are in February. Regen day is still to come, of course. But this is a great chance. Now that Bayern Munich are out, the draw came. And of course we wanted Duisburg, but after that upset against Bayern Munich, maybe it was a good thing we avoided them. So Stuttgart at home in the German Cup semi-final, a massive chance to get to the final and potentially win it. It would be incredible considering how young this club is. So we will live come that Stuttgart game. The game is not until April, so we will get that game on the live com. But I'm really excited for our chances for a piece of silverware. The final match to update you on was away to Wolfsburg. In a game that we had 13 shots, but disappointingly only one on target. We played really, really poor in this match. Wolfsburg weren't much better. It was a quite boring game, but Borja Mayerel did put them 1-0 ahead on the 67th minute. And I'm just about to show you our recent results. And this Levin Ramondo goal 
we'll see in a moment how important that was. The 90th minute to get a 1-1 draw, a respectable 1-1 draw at the Volkswagen Arena. And that is his first goal for the club. I did showcase him recently as our 4.4 million wonder kid potential signing. And finally he got a goal, I think in his fifth appearance for the club, on his... I think fifth substitute appearance, actually. I don't think he started a game yet, but delighted for him and delighted to get a 1-1 draw away to Wolfsburg in a tough, tough match. So there you go, guys. That is our recent matches. And that 90th minute equaliser will show you how it is important right now in that run. We are unbeaten in nine matches. Now, i never seen this coming. Granted, four of them are wins and five of them are draws. We have three clean sheets in that time. But for us to go unbeaten for nine matches in matches that include... Mönchengladbach, Stuttgart, they're quite a fallen giant now. They're struggling near the bottom. Bayern Munich and Wolfsburg. We're going to have a couple of tests now. Of course, we will get into the live com against Leverkusen in a moment. But then we play Schalke, Hamburg. And then we get into a few games where we've got a chance to pick up points against Darmstadt, Hoffenheim, Freiburg, Hanover, Hertha Berlin, Stuttgart in the Cup, Dortmund, Cologne, Augsburg, Paderborn. And we finish up at Borussia Park away to Gladbach. And that will be the end of season three. So it's time to get into today's live com against Bayer Leverkusen. A tough, tough match. And I will show you the league table prior to that match. But hopefully we can keep this unbeaten streak going. And maybe even make it ten unbeaten in the league. Which would be, well, and cup. And it would be a real brilliant achievement. So early into the series. As you can see, the club was founded in 2009. Currently nine years old in this save. And for them to be in the semi-final of the main cup in Germany and competing in the mid-table area of the Bundesliga is fantastic. And now that result against Bayern Munich was incredible and really shows how far the club has come. So here is the league table, 13 games remaining. We sit in ninth spot. We've won six, we drew eight, we've lost seven. Scored 33, conceded 36 and recent form in the league shows that we have won one and drew four. But you've seen our little unbeaten run and confidence is quite high. We are only two points away from seventh spot. I know we are eight points away from Mans in sixth. That would be probably too far for us to catch up now. But it would be incredible if we could reach that sixth spot. But I highly doubt it. But who knows what happens if we manage to get far in the German Cup. Remember guys, the expectation is to finish my table. But so far, so good. I'm delighted and we're a comfortable nine points above that relegation playoff spot. Really happy so far. Wolves are, Wolfsburg are doing quite disappointing. Stuttgart are struggling. Dortmund are top by eight points. So Bayern are going to have a real task on their hands in the last 13 games to catch them up. But this is the league table, guys. Let's get into today's game. So here are the lineups, and Sky Bet make. Leverkusen the favourites at 4-6 to six to win this match. We line up in similar situation, almost almost identical formations. 4-4-2. Four, four, Ours a little bit deeper in terms of that false nine. But we go with Dragowski, Young, Upamakano, Ta, Bush, Sabitzer, Kaiser, Esperiqueta, Yunez, and up top, Selka and Clough. Clough been in a decent bit of form recently, as has Selka. On the bench, Kaufman, Klosterman, Rabio, Ayer, Bruno, Urari and Ramondi. We line up against a 4-4-2, a pretty decent one at that. Leverkusen currently sitting third in the league. Leno, Augustinsson, Balanta, Jedvaj, Cedric, Alione. A couple of decent wonder kids in there in Balanta, Jedvaj and Alione. Bender, Kramer, Bellarabi, Alexander Pato and the free kick beast that is Hakan Shalanoglu on the bench. Castiles who we sold them. Para, Ozunali, Keisling, Diara Sketa who's a decent player, Hilbert and Jimenez. Now we are at home and I've told the boys that I expect them to go out and really put pressure on the opposition. So we will change this match into 2D Classic of course, like normal. Hopefully we can get a good result and really keep that unbeaten run going of 10 matches. Sabitzer plays in and comes to nothing. Alione, long ball forward, Upamecano Upa intercepts, Kaiser. Selka, Davy Selka, and he puts it wide. A hat trick, of course, not on go against Augsburg in the cup for Davy Selka. Has struggled since a couple of long term injuries for him. Bender, Bell Rabi, Bush, Esperiqueta, Bush again, intercepted by Balanta into Bell Rabi. Kalanoglu and 
Alexander Pato, the one-time wonder kid, is offside. Bush, Selka. Bush again. Cuts inside. And it comes to nothing. I thought he was going to get a shot pulled away there. Shalanoglu. Tat intercepts. It's weird, actually. Clough. And Clough puts over. We have got Jonathan Tat actually on loan for Leverkusen. And they never put in a clause where he can't play against his parent club. So he is currently playing against his parent club today. I'd like to make that deal permanent. Spiraqueta. Yunus. Kaiser. Played forward to Sabitzer. And Marcel Sabitzer. Brilliant. Get in there. Puts Leipzig 1-0 up against third place Leverkusen. Great pass in from Kaiser. First touch from Sabitzer. Drills in past the keeper. Tidy finish. Looks sharp in the opening 10 minutes here. Alione into Pato and Pato. His shot gets blocked and it's a corner. And Dragowski collects. Davy Selka captaining the squad today with Yerari Poulsen and Lucas Klosterman on the bench. Of course we did sell Jan Kirchhoff to Stuttgart, our captain. Didn't really lead by example, to be honest. Zach Clough hits the post and it's Davy Selka. Davy Selka puts his 2 0 up after 14 minutes with his sixth goal of the season. Kaiser again, the assist creator. Zach Clough hits the post and it rebounds back to Davy Selka, who puts us 2 0 up. This is fantastic. Clough. Into Selka. Oh my god. Davy Selka has just put us 3 0 up. Leverkusen are sitting in third spot. We are absolutely smashing them here. After 15 minutes, a cheeky little pass from Zach Clough. Of course, interested teams in him in real life from Bolton Wanderers. And Davy Selka puts us 3 0 up. Alione. Cedric. Bender. Alione again. Cedric. And Upa Makano clears it. Kramer, Bender, Alione, Cedric, Bender, and great tackle. Clough, forward to Selka, he's got a bit of space. He's going to sell. And Davy Selka was looking for his hat trick there. Puts it at Leno. Upa Makano, Kaiser, really good solid play so far. Defensive, Davy Selka! 4 0 up after 20 minutes against. By a Leverkusen. And a hat-trick from Davy Selka. Second hat-trick in three games. This is incredible. Zach Clough has the false nine. He is phenomenal in that role. It's a role I haven't really used a great deal until FM16. He is wonderful talent on this game. Young. Yunez. Yunez again. Spiraqueta. Clough. It's Selka, he's looking for another one. This is incredible from us. Seven shots on target out of ten in total and four goals. Everyone's putting in some shift so far. Clough, Selka, Clough again. Unbelievable, unbelievable. I don't believe what I'm seeing here. That Clough has just put a worldie into the goal there. That was incredible. Selka in there. One little touch and into the top left. That is a beauty from Zach Clough. 5 0 after 26 minutes. This is unbelievable. Alione. Bender. Alione again. And Pato, and there you go. Alexander Pato pulls one goal back after Zach Clough just put us 5 0 ahead. Good pass and play from Alione and Bender. Not quite sure what Upa Makano was doing. He really should have intercepted that pass initially that went to Pato. Decent finish. 5 1 here after 32 minutes. Bush. Selka. Alione clears. Surely Dragowski will come for this. He does. Forward. Shalanoglu. Bell Rabi on the right. Bender. Shalanoglu. Danger Man. Cedric. Great tackle from Young. Yunez plays it forward to Clough. 
Clough forward to Selka. He's got three men surrounding him and he puts it wide. Quite a poor shot there from Davy Selka. Three assists from Clough and one goal and three goals and one assist from Davy Selka. Fantastic opening to this game. 54% possession to Leverkusen. Pato on the left. He's surrounded. Ta on a yellow card. Playing fantastically against his parent club. Bender. Pato. Pato straight at Dragowski. And hopefully we can keep it at 5-1. For half time. Every one of the boys is having a real, real good game. Esperiqueta. Kaiser. Clough will chase that. Back to Leno. Argon Steenson. Pato. The number seven. Is he going to go for a long shot? He is, it's blocked. Bell Rabi on the left hand side now. Started on the right, come out to the left hand side now. Keep a note on that. And there we go, guys. That is half time at the Red Bull Arena. And we are dominating the third place side by a Leverkusen in a game that I thought was going to be really, really tough. So nothing specific being told to the lads. Why should we need to change anything considering it is currently 5-1. 8 of our 12 shots on target. And it's going hunky-dory just now. Clough to Kaiser. Travels with it. Sabitzer. He's been quite quiet actually. Sabitzer. Other than his goal. Kaiser. Sabitzer again. Into Esperiqueta. It's forward at Selka and he goes for the shot that is saved from Leno. It looks like it was drifting wide anyhow. The only player below seven is Jonathan Ta so far. Espiriqueta blocked. Alione will break away. Shalanoglu on the right. Tries to take on his man and it gets tackled there. And Bush comes out with the ball. In a cloth. Comes to nothing. Cedric to Alione. A lot of Talton's by a Leverkusen side, considering they're being steamrolled here. Poor pass from the main man, Shalanoglu. Bender, Shalanoglu again, into Pato. And a good chance for Pato, and it's blocked away. Bender, Cedric, comes to nothing. Bush, Esperiqueta, oof. He's only scored one goal this season. I did show you it in the last live com, I believe, prior to the live com match, and it was an absolute worldie. He has picked up a yellow card now as Jonathan Esperiqueta. And we will make a substitute. I'm going to bring off Davy Selka and bring on the young lad that is Raimondi. I'm going to bring off Zach Clough and bring on Yusef Poulsen. And we'll give Bruno some game time actually as well. He doesn't get much of it. He did recently come to me complaining. I told him the team were playing too well to drop other players and he agreed with me. And we settled our differences there. Esperiqueta. Triple substitute now. 30 minutes remaining. Oh my old days. It's the new boy. It's Levin Ramonde. The 4.4 million wonder kid signing from Luzerne. Just got a second goal in two games and a second for the club. And a couple of players offside there but not interfering with play. And he half volleys it into the top left hand corner. That my friends is a beauty. 63 minutes gone here. Possession still in Leverkusen's favour, but we have had 10 of our 16 shots on target. 6 1 here at the Red Bull Arena. Everyone playing a great game so far. Couple of offsides there for Poulsen and Ramondi. Ramondi, Bush, Esperiqueta, and unlucky looks for the long shot. And goes out for a corner. Esperiqueta in. Esperiqueta again. Jimenez. Esperiqueta. Upamacano. Raimondi. Poulsen. Bruno. Urari. Raimondi. Loses out. Shalanoglu. Odzanali, Jimenez, Ta, Spiriqueta, Umpamakano, real good passing play here until that one there. 
Bellarabi, Keesling comes on as a substitute, as has Otzenali. Keesling blocked by Dragowski. Shalanoglu, Balanta. Balanta puts it wide. Eight minutes to go here. Kaiser. Otzenali. Kaiser beats him in and that's the ruthlessness of this team today. We have played exceptional. Jimenez. Kiesling and... Slight shade of offside and he is offside there. Well called. I thought he was offside myself. Looked like it was going to be 6-2. Stefan Kiesling, he is offside though. Remains 6-1. We're in the final 30 seconds of the match. Bush. Kaiser. Bender. Shalanoglu forward to Jimenez. And we expect to hear the full-time whistle very, very shortly. What a performance. 11 of our 17 shots on target. Incredible. There you go, guys. Full-time from the Red Bull Arena. We have just absolutely thrashed the third-place Leverkusen side. 6-1. So as you can see on the left hand side guys, that victory over Leverkusen knocks them down to 4th place and overtaken by Schalke. Moves us up to 7th place, although a couple of teams do still have a game to play below us. Those teams that can go above us are Hanover and potentially Wolfsburg if they score enough goals. But Mans have lost, 6th place Mans have lost. We are now 5 points behind them and what a delightful win and a delightful live comment has been today. So there you go guys, confirmation of that 6-1 victory at home, 32,000 people at the Red Bull Arena for that. 10 matches unbeaten, I never thought I'd say that in this division of course. A couple of them in the League Cup, so 8 of them in the actual league. So next up we have a TV game away to Schalke, that will be tough. We then play Hamburg at home, a double away match against Darmstadt Hoffenheim. Then a home match against Freiburg, but the next match we will bring you... I think we will go away from home this time. We will play at the HDI Arena. Is Hanover away? And Hanover currently sit in 8th position. And they're going to be a team that will finish around about ourselves. So it will be a close match. A good match. Good competition. And you already know. The match after that for the live com. Hopefully you're looking forward to it. Will be the semi-final of the cup. That will potentially see us get into the final. We will play Stuttgart at home at the Red Bull Arena. But first of all, we have five games to play. I'll update you on them before the next live comp against Hanover. And as ever, guys, if you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. And if you just happen to be passing, hit subscribe and enjoy the Football Manager Always Kids YouTube channel. And of course, thank you for watching my content and I'll see you guys very soon.